Megan Granberry, a teacher at Mary Helen Gist Elementary School in Wald Lake, is this week's Excellence in Education Award winner. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Received a nice letter nominating you for this award. I want to read some of it to you. Megan Granberry is a third grade teacher at Mary Helen Guest. For two years, Megan participated in the UNICEF Kid Power Program. This program is designed to get kids moving by recording their steps and working towards goals that help feed kids in poverty-stricken countries. Each student is given a power band that records steps and links to an app that the teacher controls. When students reach their steps, food packets are released to families. What a great idea. You donate extra hours that go above and beyond in the regular classroom. You started a kindness project in your school. This letter goes on to say that you spend countless hours just giving back to your students. Why do you do that? You know, I, j I just consider myself so lucky to be able to do what I do. Um, and I really value that position and aside of being a teacher, of being able to give them these experiences um, and being able to see them grow as people. Uh, I was very fortunate this last year that I looped with my class, so I'm now on my second year with these kids. So I've seen them grow, I've seen them come up to me and say, well, how about these ideas of ways that we can help? And then get so excited when they're talking about their food packets and wanting to share what we're doing with the class and with their families. Um, so it's just, it's an amazing you know, thing to be a part of. One of the things that you do is, is incorporate empathy into your educational programs. Why is that important to students, do you think? I mean, it's, it's crucial to what we do because we are sending these kids off to be people in our community. You know, so our whole school has a focus on empathy and we have an empathy wrap that we do. Um, and we, we start each day coming together as a community and, and just knowing that we have all these people that care about them um, and that we in turn need to care about each other. When we leave school, we need to care about the people around us and even bigger, we need to care about people in the world. So. 10 years from now, you fast forward, you're looking back, you're talking to a student, what do you hope that they tell you that they learned from you? I, th I think it has to do with that empathy. Um, you know, I don't think that they're gonna talk to me about what they learned in social studies or science, you know, that's fun, but I think just that they know that they have a power to make a difference. Um, I hope that they look back and they remember the positive relationships and the jokes that we had and the silly things that we do. Um, but that they, they're making a difference and that they, they knew that they had that power. Have you seen that difference in students? I have. It's, I, I mean, I had the other day we were sharing reading logs and I had a student and he was talking about Harry Potter and he said the different things that he would do if he had a magic wand and then he said one of the things was, and I would help people that don't have a lot of stuff like, like kids that don't, don't have clean water and I was like, oh, I think that's that moment where you're like, okay, what I'm doing matters. It makes a difference. So. Well, it does. So congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you for so what much. you do because you're making a huge difference in so many people's lives. So Thank you. Awesome. So we're going to sit there and they're going to come up and take some pictures of you. We're just going to continue okay. talking like we were. Um, and So I think I know who nominated me now. <laughs> who do you think it was? So the person who had originally contacted our school about the power bands a couple of years ago. Uh -huh. Um, she's a former teacher and she had asked me months ago she was gonna possibly write some grants and she asked me for some bullet points of things that I was doing so I'm ah. like I bet that was great. <laughs> yeah. Well and you you received the Wild Lake Friends of Diversity Award I mean so as a teacher have you always wanted to be a teacher? I have. I have. I mean I since I was really a say third grade I had a lot of teachers in my school who went above and beyond. I mean, gave me experiences that I never would have had. Um, took me to symphonies and art shows. And um, I was telling my daughter, uh, sign, made me, you know, like you're gonna do this writing contest, you know, that I won money on stuff. You know, just having those adults in your life to push you and, and kind of create that community and that extended family. So and that's that, what I like. That little boy that wrote that to you yeah. and said, I mean, that's got to like it's just awesome. be like, that is what you're hoping for. You they're, I mean, they're a super group of kids. And like I said, being able to have them two years and see the change inside them. And um, it's, it's pretty remarkable for eight and nine year olds to kind of start to have that worldview. But it's a lot of hard work that you put in extra. So um, in the end, you must think it's real worth it. You must. I do. I mean, that's. Those are the experiences that I really teach for. You know, it, it happens one day like I was doing. We had a grant for a tower garden, so we're putting that together, and we were syncing the bands. And I, it was a Friday. I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I get my? Or why, why am I doing this? And they go, because you're awesome, Miss Granberry. I'm like, okay, that's why. Because because they think it's awesome. You know, that's why I'm doing it. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just think you're awesome. <laughs>